Hello, friends, and welcome. Thank you for joining me again today for some more Terroir Vanilla Hills. My name is Sean, and when we left off, it was April of 2050. We've got a bunch of rain. We've got a bunch of bunch of canopy on all of our all of our uh, uh, vines here, but that's okay. We will get those cleared away. Um, one thing I do. Oh, you know what? Before we even get started, let's try to sell some of that wine. Finally remembered to try to sell some wine at the beginning of an episode. First time ever. Actually, it probably is the first time ever. Let's see. No, got to wait to sell a little bit, but we should be able to sell all 4,300 bottles through Hogang Ho Ho or whatever uh, once we hit March. So, all right, pause it. Um, so, uh, I left a comment on Reddit about the uh, issue that, uh, or what I thought was an issue that we had with the uh, wine, where we had our Pinot... Our uh, straight fives got five stars with one star reviews, but then it got one star with five star reviews. And um, the uh, the uh, developer uh, went into a little bit of detail about how the reviews uh, work. Um, and uh, basically, uh, I mean, you know, it makes sense. Um, each uh, each star up on the review score, the less forgiving they are for mistakes. Um, so, and I guess, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear how the reviews, uh, generally how the review formula works, maybe skip ahead a minute or something. Um, but, uh, basically the one star reviewers, they will allow you four points of error before they start removing any points. Uh, the five star reviewers will allow you zero points of error before they start removing any points. So we were able to get five stars on this one because we're off by four points somewhere in here. It could either be 6666, it could be 5595, or any combination of that. But we need four more, we need four points of variation within this. It could be 5515, you know. Um, but then in here, we're off by four points, and so that got us the one star. So same thing. Um, and actually, it's this score that really tells us how much we're off by. We could be off by zero to four points when we get a five star on our, uh, on our, uh, on our on our wine there uh, with one star reviewers so uh, that really helps out so I think my goal is I want to try straight sixes and see how that works out and we should be able to use the process of elimination to figure out what the correct formula is for Pinot uh, so looking back on our Syrahs we've gotten really good results here so I, I'm gonna kind of disregard the good harvest because I don't know if that gives us a bonus or not but we do know that six six seven six is only off by one so I'm wondering if maybe 6776 will get us to where we're looking for. I'm going to assume that Good Harvest gave us one bonus point, so it turned a three wine into a four wine. So, um, yeah. Uh, here we have four stars with five, but also a Good Harvest. So it's real hard to, to uh, count that one. And then I think with our Chardonnay, by using the same... So, you know, the 6656, we're off by one. And 6666... We're off by two, so I, I wonder if maybe six five five six will end up being the magic number. Um, so uh, we're gonna fiddle around and find out how it turns out. But anyways, that's how um, that's how the scoring works. Thank you so much to Mark, the developer, for uh, kind of giving me an idea of of how that works. And then of course I spent a little time trying to figure it out myself. But uh, let's uh, let's get this clock running and get cutting up some of these. Some of these, uh, uh, some of these bushes. Oh, they're so, so overgrown. We really need to ripen these guys up. Especially the Syrah. Syrah wants to be super ripe and juicy. These ones I'm less worried about, but I still want to get them chopped up a little bit. There you go. Now we've got the fungal rot, which is unfortunate. Now somebody else had suggested that that this would treat the fungal rot, but that treats phylloxera, which is a, a different kind of bug. Uh, so as far as I know, there's nothing you can do about fungal rot. Uh, pesticide, fast harvest, prepare for next growth, trim foliage, all vines are the same. Uh, that's optimized foliage, clear forest, plant forest, fertilized vines. Oh, targeted vine will immediately grow into Heavy foliage. Okay, well that's interesting. Can't do that till we have Chateau level three though. So yeah, I don't think there's much we can do about the fungal rot. It was probably due to the heavy canopy and then the kind of wet conditions. But the sun should dry it out. 
if I remember things properly. And we forgot to head back to uh, head back into sales. So let's try to sell off this stuff. Look at that, forty-three twenty. Boom. Take all of that, how gang. And that leaves us with a little bit of a bunch of different wines left over from previous years. That, that rot or dried up, which is nice. Oh, never mind. Did not dry up so much after all. Oh, no, I do not need more rain. I need the opposite of rain, which is sunny skies. This rain is not going to help at all. Cloudy is okay, I guess, but cloudy really isn't what we need either. I'm gonna really cut back on these, uh, this canopy for this Syrah. Chardonnay too, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Pinot where it is. But I sure would like to get a little more ripeness in our Chardonnay. Oh, hey, it beeps at you now when, uh, when you can't trim it back anymore, that's nice. All right, let's go one more month. Cool. Hey, thanks, developers. They are constantly upgrading this. It's great. All right, let's see uh, how that works out. Let's also see if I can sell any more wine real quick here. I sure can. But sell five there. Boom. And this one. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Our relation keeps dropping with these guys. Every time I open the window, it's really frustrating. I can't, I would sell you, I would sell multiple wines at the same time, you guys, if you would let me. Oh shit, I better not have anything in barrels. Okay, phew, thank goodness. That would have been a disaster, huh? All right, so our Chardonnay starts out at 7877. 5655 five, five for our Syrah. Well, it's going to be hard to get a seven sweetness out of that one, isn't it? Our Pinot here. Five six five five. Not uh, well. We still might be able. We might be able to manage to get that. Although we can't boost that body any, unfortunately. Okay. All right. So, um, we will crush that up. This will push our Chardonnay seven eight ten seven. And we want to go for six five five, huh? So I think I will go seven eight nine seven. Uh, you know what? No, let's let's increase the tannin so then we can have it sit longer in uh, in uh, barrels. Uh, Syrah, Syrah, we definitely want high tannins on that one, and um, the Pinot. Yeah, let's boost those tannins too. Whoops, too too high. All right, there you go. Crush them all. And then in November, we'll see if we can sell any more bottles. A lot of stuff to look at all at once here. Oh, okay, I guess it's not November yet. All right, so decrease sweetness by one on the Chardonnay. We're going to try to hit a sweetness of five, huh? Uh, so we want to go one, two, three, Syrah, the Syrah we want to, yeah, we do not want to decrease the sweetness at all. And the Pinot, same thing with the Pinot. We want to leave that where it is. We are looking at potentially getting straight sixes on our Pinot here. Um, great. Let's do it. Now it's November. Can we sell anything? What do we have the most of? Yeah, they're all the same. All right, sell 43 of those. Thank you, Ho Gang. Wow, they sold all 4,000 or whatever of that last one just in one month. That's crazy. There are a bunch of selling fools there at Ho Gang. Thank you. That's why you're my preferred distributor. And here we go. Soon it will be December. Anytime now, and I can stop talking for a moment. Not for very long though, because nobody wants to watch me just play without hearing me talk. Cannot sell anything. Thank you, game. You're the best. Close those down. We don't have anything in barrels yet. It's because we are fermenting, but we will be able to put them in barrels here shortly. Whoops. 
Oh, also, wow, I'm surprised it let me do that while the game was paused. It's probably a mistake. Okay, so for the Chardonnay, we're shooting for 6556, so I want to try to lose five tannins. Well, that's not going to be easy when you go in either groups of two or three. Um, so I want to do two months with that. And I want to get the acidity down to six, so I want to push it up to eight. So that's a good good shape for that. Looking at our Syrah, six seven seven six. Well, it's going to be tough to get the tannins down to seven, so I will push the acidity up to seven. Here in the Pinot, the Pinot is the one area where we actually have a chance to hit it just right. I want to get this down to six, and we want to get this down to six, so I want to push that up to seven as well. There we go, beautiful, and. Now, it's time to put them in the barrels. And, um, all right, so Chardonnay. Chardonnay, if we go two months here, we should get six, five, four, eight, which is probably gonna be ridiculous, but you know what, we're gonna go with that one anyways. Uh, Syrah, six, seven, seven, six. So we'll put it in this one and we'll just go for one month. And here we are going to put it in the French oak, go for one month. Now this body went up, and that may end up causing us some problems. So we'll have to come back in January and see how these things look. But uh, it'll help us narrow down what the perfect score is anyway. And we're getting closer. So, Chardonnay. We want to let this go one more month. Uh, Syrah. Syrah, straight sixes. Usually does pretty well for us. We're going to do it. And look at that. Straight sixes on the Pinot. Exactly what our goal was. We don't know how it's going to turn out. But we are going to go ahead and go with the five-star reviewers on that one. And with the Syrah, you know what? I think we will go... Well, we know it's not going to be perfect, right? So let's go with the four-star reviewers where I feel like we can probably get a uh, probably get a five star score with that. So we've got a cork. We've got the purple bottles. We are going to call this the Zarne whoops, Zarnescu Zarnescu Syrah 2050 with the cork. That's after our friend Vladimir Zarnescu. So we will uh, bottle that one up. And this Pinot here, this beautiful, beautiful Pinot is going to be the King Kobold, Kobold Pinot Noir with a cork and a purple bottle and uh, all of our hopes set on that beautiful Pinot. Let's start with the Syrah so we can build the tension, organize that tasting. So we're going to go with the four star reviewers here. We should be able to get a five star score out of this, I hope. Four star score. Okay, well. Ah, I should have known. It tells me right there. So we should have, uh, so I don't need to, I uh, don't need to keep that in there even. Whoops, cancel. That's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. All right, I should have known how that was going to turn out. And I should have went with the three star reviews. That's okay. No problem. All right, and our Pinot. Straight sixes. We're going to go with five-star review. We're going to go for broke here. It is a good harvest, so that, I believe, is going to help us. We might be able to actually get a five-star wine here. <laughs> but to really see what the five-star score is, we kind of need to get one that's not a good harvest. Okay. All right. Zero, huh? Well... So that means we're off by more than five points. So um, I'm going to guess that straight sixes is not our ideal. That's really interesting. So five, 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 five was off by four. Six, 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 six is off by at least five. So maybe we need to go four, 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 four. All right, well, we'll try that next time. Sorry, King Kobold. You're going to have to throw your 720 bottles away. But, Zarnescu, you've gotten a nice, beautiful vintage for us. 
and we will uh, send those to Ferrer and Brothers because they're the only one available, the only one willing to sell our wine at this moment. Thank you, Ferrer and Brothers, and uh, we will see you again in February, seller. Seller with a C, not seller with an S. Some rain to start our year off. It's okay. Not going to help us build any canopy or anything, but February means uh, don't go to that screen. Go to that screen. There we go. So look at that floral. How is this one going to turn out? Six five four five. Whoops. Six five four five floral. We don't have anything. We don't have anything like it. Six five seven six. Yeah, it's nothing like that. Hmm. All right. So let's go with a four star review on this one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Three star review. We're not gonna. We're never gonna find out how we're off if we don't do better reviews. So let's go with the four star review. I'm taking a risk here. Um, this will be the uh, Cory Gull Chardonnay 2050. Organized tasting. Four star reviews. I guess what I I could assign multiple reviewers to it and uh, get a better idea, but you know what? Forget it. We're just gonna go with this one. Invite to tasting, two stars. Not so happy with that. So that means we're off by quite a bit. I'm guessing that the floral gives us a plus one, so we're off by like four points on that. So that means six five five six. Probably not the ideal score. Um, so if we had four star reviews, we get one for free. So five, four, three, two. So we're off by at least five. That's annoying. Um, okay, well, uh, maybe we need to be going for higher scores. Let's try for like a six, seven, seven, six next time. Six, seven, six, six gave us a pretty good score. Six, seven, five, six gave us a good score. We weren't keeping good records at that time. And then, of course, we know 6666 gives us a pretty good score overall. Okay, well, uh, I'm actually going to toss those as well. Sorry, buddy. Um, but maybe we can sell off. That means we should be able to sell off the rest of our stock here. And we'll come back and sell the three bottles we have for this one. <laughs> big money, big money, no whammies. All right, we have another growing year here coming up. See what we can get growing. That means they got some additional leaves, I guess. Get ready to do some trimming, especially on the Syrah, which we really want to get ripened up. Pinot, I'm less concerned about. I think actually less ripe might be better on the Pinot. Gonna leave a little bit of canopy on that Chardonnay. Nope. Or not. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. Let's do a big one on that one. Oh, look at that. It, it opened up the other one for me while that one was going, which is nice. So maybe that was a, uh, maybe that was a bug too. Well, I'm glad to see that. Definitely makes canopy management a lot easier. Ah, more rot. Dang. Too bad. Get some guys with toothbrushes out there. Like scrub the rot off. I'm guessing it probably doesn't work that way, but like if you're gonna scrub it off with something, toothbrush would probably be the right thing, right? Like something with real soft bristles. You don't need to use toothpaste, that'd be silly. Come on, guys. Let's stay reasonable. Uh, speaking of staying reasonable, 
Let's see if we can get any reasonable sales of the wine that we've got sitting in our cupboards. Why? Why would it? Why would it allow us to sell any wine? Don't be silly. It's only been several months since we looked at that menu. Reasonable ripeness here, but I might want to trim back. As a matter of fact, let's do the super trim. Trim back all the foliage on those. I'm going to trim back a little bit of foliage on these. Oh, come on, rain. That's not... Well, I'm glad I trimmed when I did. Keep these ones coming back. Yep, there we go. We, we need a, a super-powered growth spurt here now. They are already trying to uh, already trying to harvest here, but it's way too early for that nonsense. Unfortunately, we're going to have a, a very consistent harvest here, um, which is going to make it hard to get any decent sweetness on any of our Chardonnays and Syrahs. But we might be able to get something more that we're looking for with the Pinot there. Um, ah, good. Okay. Well, let's keep our relation with Hugang good. And um, let's uh, try to keep this one as strong as we can. And ah, look at that. Clearing out our backstock. See, it's not such a bad thing to go a year without uh, a year without a, any wine really worth selling. Oh, sh no, we don't have any in, uh, in barrels or anything, right? Okay, good. That's right, because we had to throw it all away. All right, let's, uh, let's keep that canopy down. Ah, come on. Did you not hear me say, let's keep that canopy down? Got to keep these, uh, I want to try to ripen these guys up a little bit. Not, um, boop, boop. Sounds like, uh, Pac-Man there for a second. Like the Atari version of Pac-Man. You know what? Let's go for four. They're not going to be very sweet, but why not experiment and see what happens with some less sweet varieties? Should be good for our... And it's still pretty sweet, actually. Huh. Really interesting. Low acidity, low tannins, very low body. Okay. It's good to know. Um, so, all right, Chardonnay. Uh, first off, we don't need to look at that anymore. There we go. Let's smash them. Let's, we're going to go full tannins on all of these because they're all very low tannins as it is. No need to even think about that. Maybe get a few more bottles sold before, uh, before this happens. Not this month, maybe next month. All right. Fermentation decreases sweetness. Well, we don't want to decrease any of the sweetness, I don't think. Looking at our Syrah, yeah, for sure. Uh, the Pinot, you know, we still, we're going to try for a four, straight fours. So I'm actually going to let that go for two weeks. So there you go. Once we hit December, I will try the sales thing again. See if we can clear out our cellar. Should be able to. But we won't. We'll be able to next month, I guess. Pressing time. Hmm, looked like a little flower appeared on the uh, pressing icon there. All right, let's start with the Pinot because that's where this is. So if we're going for straight fours, we want our city to go up one to five so we can drop this one down to four. Um, here with our Syrah. Well, we know that straight sixes gives us a reasonable, reasonable uh, result. So let's let's, uh, let's take the safe route. We'll go for a reasonable result. Maybe use a four-star review and uh, get ourselves a good answer there. Here it's going to be kind of tough. But we're probably going to want to send, send it straight to the bottle without any, uh, without any aging. So we'll do that. Get them all pressed. Barreling time. Um... We'll throw you in the stainless steel vat. We're just going to take you right out, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, same with you, Syrah. You're not going to spend any time in there. And here, um, uh, we're going to put you in the uh, stainless steel as well. Whoops, that's too far. We're going to leave you in there for a month. So 
Uh, one of your more varietals doesn't have a thing. Okay, there we go. Great. All right, and immediately back in there. So six five seven six on our Chardonnay. We had a six five seven six previously, but we don't know how many. Um, we don't know how it. Oh, six six five seven six with three stars gave us a five star score. So we'll try it with four stars. Six five seven six. No attributes bottle. This will be the Koki Times Chardonnay White Bottle Cork Cap. Bottle it up. And that Pinot is going to sit. Our Syrah is straight sixes. And four stars gave us four stars last time with straight sixes. Five, okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. Combination of stuff. Uh, let's bottle that one up. Nope. Purple bottle. Purple bottle, I say. There we go. And um, that is going to be Sniggy. Am I spelling that right? Sniggy One's Purple Drink. 2051. There we go. Beautiful. Bottle that one up as well. And now it is the moment of truth. We'll start with Sniggy's Purple Drink. Um, this is straight sixes. I mean, we kind of already know what the score is going to be, right? So if we go with three stars, should be able to get a five-star score. As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's press our luck a little bit. We'll throw one four-star rating in here, see if we can... Uh... Now, so the four-star guy gave us four stars. Great. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly what we expected. All right, good. Uh, so it gave us four and a half stars. So I guess that's not going to be enough to get us the renown of a five-star review. I thought that the two-thirds would push us up, that it would round up to five, but I guess not. Uh, that's okay, though. Um, we are done, and... Um, the uh, next one would be oh yeah the uh, this this Chardonnay here our mystery Chardonnay six five seven six we're gonna go with four star review on this one as well one two three of those guys and they say four stars six five seven six that gets us a four and a four okay well that's um. It's another little piece of the puzzle there. It's getting us closer to where we want to be, so that'll be good. I'll look through these numbers and have some better ideas tomorrow uh, where we want to go. Let's uh, let's try to sell. So we don't really have a whole lot to sell this year, uh, but that's okay. And we'll try this one. 600 of those. Sell. And um, we can get rid of these 22 as well, right there. That way this doesn't drop a point while we're waiting. Now we do have this barrel that we want to uh, sit for one more month, right? So I'm actually going to um, going to uh, uh, make sure that we get that out of the barrel before I save the game. I don't want to have that go to waste. All right, so we've got straight fours, which was our target. You guys are getting a special extended b -b 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 bonus s -s 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 episode. Um, so straight fours. I'm very excited about that. I still say we should go five stars on this one. Go for broke. See what they have to say. Take our chances. Let's bottle it up. This one. Give it some good luck with our one of our longest fans. Most active commenters, Greenhagen. It's the Greenhagen Pinot 2051. It's either going to be brilliant or a disaster. And this will be an exciting way to wrap up our episode. Bring in the pros. We want the best of the best reviewing this wine. And they say, they say it's terrible. It's a mockery of all that's good and decent in the world. Well, that sounds, sounds like, sounds like Greenhagen. 
freaking green hagen just kidding buddy all right yes i'm sure we're throwing that garbage away it's not even worth the name pause that game write down that score for shame but we do know that it's now that's odd Hmm. I'm going to have to look at those numbers. It's too bad I'm not still in high school because I probably could use some of the uh, uh, trigonometry that I knew then to better figure out this formula. Uh, but I'm going to spend some time looking at it and we'll know better tomorrow. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to have a wine named after you, just leave a comment in the comment section. All of these beautiful wines have been named after commentators and you could be one of them. Um, thank you for everybody who's continuing to watch this series. We're really having a good time. And uh, I am uh, very happy with all the views. We are more than halfway through. We are 55 years into our 100 years. So, um, you know, uh, at this rate, it's still going to be a long time because we're only getting like two years an episode. Uh, but, you know, we're having a good time, right? Right? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.